The Euclidean algorithm helps us find the GCD of two whole numbers. On the other hand, the extended Euclidean algorithm reverses the process to help us write the GCD as a linear combination of the two whole numbers. Here's our problem statement. Find integers s and t that are in z, the set of integers, such that this linear combination 1224s plus 567t equals 9 it turns out that 9 is the greatest common divisor of 1,224 and 567. That fact was derived in our last video with the Euclidean algorithm. Here are the details. We take the larger whole number, 1,224, and divide it by the smaller whole, whole number, 567. We get a quotient of 2. 567 times 2 is 1,134, and the remainder is 90. We need to add 90 to 1,134 to get 1,224. The next step in the recursive process of the Euclidean algorithm is to take 567 and now divide by the remainder, 90, to get 90 times 6, the quotient is 6, plus 27, the new remainder is 27. Repeat that process, now take 90, divide by that remainder of 27, 90 is 27 times 3, the quotient is 3, plus 9, the remainder is 9. Now do the same process again, 27 equals 9 times 3 plus 0. 9 is the last non-zero remainder. That means 9 is the GCD of the original numbers. In that last video, I also explained why this works. But now we want to take these equations and go in reverse. We want to solve for 9 as a linear combination of the original numbers, 1,224 and 567. So start by taking this equation and solving it for 9. Subtract 27 times 3 from both sides. To get 9 is 90 minus 27 times 3. Then take this equation and solve it for 27 and replace this 27 with what you get. This 27 gets replaced with 567 minus 90 times 6. Simplify. Distribute this 3 through the parentheses and re-expand. The terms involving 90 will be 90 and also plus 90 times ultimately 18, 6 times 3, giving us 90 times 19. And the terms involving 567 will be just the minus 567 times 3. We're almost done. We can now use the first equation to replace this 90 as a linear combination of 1,224 and 567 and then we can continue simplifying. Go ahead and do so. 90 is 1,224 minus 567 times 2. Don't forget to multiply that by 19. Also, don't forget to subtract 567 times 3. Now simplify. What is S? S is the multiplier of 1,224. You can see that's going to be 19. 1,224 times 19 plus 567 times what? What is t? Look at the coefficients you would get. You have a minus 2 times 19 is minus 38. You also have a minus 3. That's going to be minus 41. And this will be the answer. s is 19, t is negative 41. We can always double check with our calculator. 1,224 times 19 plus 567 times negative 41 gives you 9. Of course, that's the same as 1,224 times 19 minus 567 times 41. The GCD of these two numbers has been written as a linear combination of those two numbers. This fact is more useful than you might imagine. It has many applications in number theory and abstract algebra. Thanks for watching.